Okay, we're about uh, 80 to 90 kilometers uh, south of uh, Kuala Matutu, going towards the Brazil uh, border, and we've been going upstream for uh, about uh, yeah, at least 80 kilometers, maybe 80, 90 kilometers now. And we're stopping to set up camp for the night. And I just want to talk a little bit about uh, in the book of John, uh, chapter 15. I'm going to read a little bit of that first. Is I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that Beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it. That is, it may bring forth more fruit. Now, now you're clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now ye are clean. Through the word which I have spoken unto you, abide in me, and I in you. And the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. Now Jesus says he's a true vine, right? Okay, so no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. If a man abideth not in me, he can't cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. So you see, when he's abiding in me, in, in, in the beginning of John it says, I am the Word. If we go to uh, John, John, John 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. You see? So Jesus Christ is the Word, and his, He's got pure words. He's got true words. We have to abide in His Word. So how do we know where His words are? Well, if we go to Psalm 12, 6, this is, this is my great-grandfather's New Testament, uh, Renner's New Testament. So uh, I don't have, it's, I, that's all I was able to carry because we were uh, limited on weight restrictions. So we'll go to Psalms 12, 6. And Psalms 12, 6 is the words of the Lord are pure words. Uh, As silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. And that's what we do in, in, in our work. We purify silver. And we know that has to be purified seven times to get a perfect analytical result, a perfect assay. And now if you go to uh, Psalm 12, 7, you'll see something very interesting here. So we know the words, Lord, Lord, or Lord, are pure words. We have to have a pure Bible. And we know they're in the King James Bible because it says this only in the King James Bible, especially when you go down to verse 7. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Now every other Bible version, we have to be very careful, is missing words. And it's missing a lot of words. And the other Bible versions will say, Thou shalt keep me, O Lord. No, 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 no. We're not asking the Lord God to keep me. He's saying, Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. His words. So we have his preserved words today. And only one Bible describes this. That's the King James Bible. That's very important. We know the words in there. And we're not missing the words. Lots of Bible versions are missing. 60, 70,000 words. And without those words is your shield and your helmet of protection. You, the devil's always throwing fiery darts, and he'll get through to you. He'll get through to you, and you're going to end up worshiping another Jesus, another gospel, another Christ. And if you go further to Psalm, if Psalms, back in Psalms 119, 140, thy word is very pure. Therefore, thy servant loveth it. So once you know you have God's pure words, you really love him if you're truly his servant. And you'll know his, his words because the Holy Ghost will lead you to him. So in Proverbs 35, it says, every word of God is pure. Every word of God is pure. So if your Bible is missing God's words, any of his words, just one of them, you've lost the purity of Jesus Christ. You're worshiping another Jesus, another gospel, another spirit. And you know what? It's a familiar spirit. Other Bible versions are familiar spirits. You need the King James Bible, God's pure, perfect word. So every word of God is pure back in Proverbs 35. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Now, reading a little further in John, we're gonna see that uh, 
uh, John 1, uh, uh, sorry, John chapter 15, verse 18. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. So if the world hates you because you have a King James Bible, you have God's pure, perfect words, you're in the right footsteps. Father Abraham, back in the book of Genesis, uh, he's called Father Abraham. We're to call no man on earth father, but our father, the one and only, you know. Jesus instructed us that, so, so we're to call God our father. But Abraham, he actually petitioned God back in Sodom and Gomorrah. God actually came and visited him. And, 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 and during that visit, he found out God was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and all the plains. And he said, uh, uh, peradventure, uh, should there be 50 righteous men in the city, will you spare it, O Lord? And I, I, I'm just paraphrasing because I don't have an Old Testament with me. And uh, God said, yeah, sure, if there's 50. And Abraham went on and he bargained with God some more to try and save the people. And he said, uh, 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 Lord, if there be five less than 50, will you still spare the city? And Abraham kept petitioning, but I'm petitioning today for this rainforest, this pure, pristine rainforest, and, and the need of people that live here, that, 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 that so many of them are just so innocent, and they just haven't had your words yet, because there's missionaries coming in here, giving false Bibles and false words, and Lord, find five righteous men that'll, the men that'll distribute your word, Father God. And uh, uh, peradventure, uh, should there be five righteous men somewhere in this Amazon rainforest. Uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen.